Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a SharePoint page so you can create fantastic looking pages like this. In this scenario, I'm gonna show you how to create a meet the team style page to show you how you could build a meet the leadership page for your SharePoint intranet. Okay, so the first thing to do when we want to create our SharePoint page is navigate to the home page of the site that you want to create it on. Now I'm gonna be using my example intranet page. So this is just a home page of my intranet. I've called one place, as in it's one place to find all the content that you might need to help with your day-to-day -day job. I see it as almost like a single source of truth um, and people can find the latest news articles, information, things like that. Now, in this scenario, what I'm going to be doing is creating a meet the leadership team uh, page where I'm gonna have a bit of information, maybe bios of the leadership team, um, so as new starters join, they can come find maybe a link under who we are um, that's going to link them to a bio of each of the kind of leadership team. Now, to create our page, we're going to click on the new button across the top up here and then select page. Now, you'll see there's actually um, a couple of different um, templates that Microsoft provide. So there's actually a starter page, bit of start of the video, a training page, so welcome to the team, uh, a recap page, so maybe this is a recapping events, things like that. A message, but bulletin, visual. So this is just a sort of stock visual page to sort of show you how you can have different layouts and images. Basic text. So this is just showing you how you can have a block of two by two pieces of text. Now I'm going to actually just completely start this off from blank. So I'm going to select blank here and then click on create page. So the first thing you might want to consider is what is the top section of your page going to look like? Now you'll notice as you hover over these different areas, we have uh, what we call sections. So this is a page section, and this is a, what we call a full width section. Um, we can completely swap this out, we can change this around however we like, and we can reorder things. Uh, but this is just a stock blank page template, essentially. Now, um, for something like a bio page, because this is almost like a secondary type of content page, I'm not even that bothered about having a um, sort of header. So I could even make this plain and just call the page um, meet the leadership team. Now, also, you can see here, this is the page author. Now, I think sometimes this can be a little bit distracting. And once I publish the page, it will show my name here. Now, this can be of use for sometimes for different types of content where um, you might want someone to reach out to you. So if this was more of a page that was like a FAQ or something like that, you might want someone to be able to reach out to you. In fact, you can actually remove this and even add somebody else's name to this list if you wanted to. Um, now, I should caveat that although that I've swapped out the author name of the, the page here, um, I can in the background of SharePoint, I'm not going to necessarily go into the details of this now, but in the background, you can always dig out who created this page. So if you're worried someone might create a page maliciously and put your name on it, so it looks like you've created it, you can always see in the background exactly who created that page. But this time, I'm just going to remove it because I don't think we actually need it. Um, now, I do actually quite like having some different colors and things like that on the page, but for now, um, I'm actually just going to show you how uh, we can do this quite so plain um, and because I'm using the kind of black and white colors I think that this is going to look quite nice um, with just kind of plain colors but if you did want to change the background colors of the section you can just select a section click on edit properties and you can see there's a whole range of different backgrounds that are pre-selected for you or you can even add your own background in here now I might play around with this as I go along um, I don't necessarily have the full picture of what I think this is going to look like just yet in my head so I might just mess around with this as we go along what I do know though is that I'm going to want to have almost like a grid so I'm gonna have like sections um of, of people and a leadership team typically i mean a leadership team you're probably going to have somewhere between five and ten people some like that depending on the size of the organization so i'm going to aim for six because i think that's going to look quite nice to have a row of three uh and then an another row of three underneath it now to achieve the row of three what we need to do is add in a new section um and click on add new section and you can see there's multiple different types of sections that we can add to a page so we've got like two column so two column section we have a three column section which is what i'm going to use we have a one third left where essentially the right hand side is much bigger than the left hand side it is still two columns but as you can see here uh, it's it's kind of 
the only say 33 percent of the the uh, the width is being used by this column and then 66 percent is being used by this other column and then vice versa for that way around as well one third right so you can have a much bigger one on the left and a smaller one on the right um we then have full width sections now the full width sections are actually limited to the amount of web parts that you can use whereas all of these other sections down here you can add in whatever web part you like but there are restrictions as you can see here of which web parts we can add into full width section and actually there is another type of section called a vertical section which i don't believe you can add if you have a, a full width uh, on the page so to remove a section we just select it click on that little delete section button here and then let's have a little look. Now we can add in our vertical section. So if you want to add a vertical section in here, which is fantastic for things like having secondary kind of links. So on a page like Meet the Leadership Team, it might be that we have um, a, a secondary area here, which we're going to have links to say, uh, meet um, the operations team, meet the sales team, meet the blah, blah, blah. So actually, as I've just spoken that out loud, I think that's a fantastic idea. I'm actually gonna add that to the page as well. So I'm gonna leave this section here um, and have a little play around with that in a second. Now I'm going to remove all these other sections that I don't want. So I don't want that section. I don't want that section. I do want the three column. So I'm going to leave that there. I don't need this either. Oops. So I'm going to delete that as well. So now I'm starting to get the structure of my page together. Um, in fact, just so I can make it easier, I'm going to have this as a slightly different color. I'm going to have that as a black color so that it's easy for me to understand that actually this is the main body of the page. This is almost like a secondary area area that I'm going to use for navigation slightly later on. So what I think I'm going to need as part of my Meet the Leadership page is maybe a piece of text which has got the person's name, um, then I'm going to have the person's image. Um, in fact, actually, no, I think I'm going to have the image, then I'm going to have their name, maybe their job title, and a little bit of bio um, underneath them as well. Um, you could always go quite fancy and add more buttons underneath there if you wanted to link off to their like social medias, their LinkedIn page, things like that as well. But I'll keep this quite simplistic just for this demonstration. So the first thing I need to do is add an image web part. So click on to add a web part. And as you can see, in any one of these sections, we can add new web parts. In fact, even in this area here, you can add a new web part. So I click on add, and then I'm going to click on image. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for some headshot pictures. So you probably have your own pictures of your own leadership team if you were creating that page. But I'm just going to look for some pictures. So um, I'm just going to select a picture of her for now. And I might need to play around with this a little bit because stock images aren't let's say, always exactly the same size. So underneath this, then, I'm going to have a text. So I'm just going to search for text web part because I want to add that person's name and in text and it might be that i'm going to use a different type of heading so maybe let's try heading three and then jane smith um, and then underneath that um, in fact the first thing i'm going to teach you here is about duplicating uh, web parts now by clicking a web part you can click on duplicate web part which then adds a kind of another sort of web part underneath it and i'm going to change this text now um here so this will be this is some text about jane smith and i might just copy that a couple of times to make it look as if it's a kind of bio piece of text okay now if i click on publish I can see now what this page is going to start looking like. So you can see this is what this looks like um, so far. I quite like this. I think this is looking quite clean. Um, uh, and I think this is the kind of format that I'm going to, to be using. Now, what I will then do is I'm going to duplicate each of these three to put into these columns as well. So I'm going to duplicate this two more times and then I can drag the web parts by selecting it and holding on to this move web part option here like the little arrows across the top and again I'm just going to do this for that person's name drag it across like so and again just do that with the text like so Okay, so now we've got our kind of structure of what this will look like. And obviously we'll update this now. Um, so we'll change the images. So I'll select this 
uh, and I'm going to click on to browse images, change this, and um, let's just look for kind of headshot pictures of people um, that might look like staff. So um, I want to keep them fairly, fairly consistent looking. There we go. Let's change this again. Right, let's just look for office and just see if we get some more formal looking pictures. There we go, like so. Um, let's change the names a little bit. Now, I, I said before, I wanted this to kind of be um, sort of duplicated as well. So again, I'm just going to duplicate all of these to put underneath this. Because we're going to have two rows. Like so. Again, just do and duplicate these names. Move them underneath. Granted, this isn't the most exciting part, so bear with me. But it's much quicker to use duplicate. If anything, hopefully you've taken away from this. Um, actually, that you can save a lot of time adding web parts by using the duplicate button uh, that sits underneath it. Now, something strange has just happened. Why is that? Oh, that's why. There we go. There we go. Right, and let's just add some more images. Again, let's just go into stock images, which are fantastic for this sort of thing, for filling up images. So we'll have a little look. So he looks quite serious. Let's have him. Now that image actually is a slightly different size. So I might need to change that one in a second, actually. In fact, I'm going to pause this as I fill out the rest of this content because I realize this is getting a little bit boring. And with magic in a second, it will automatically be filled in for you. So if by magic, there we go, I've updated all the profile pictures now. I've also added into the text um, their job titles as well of the senior leadership. So we can see CEO, COO, CTO, and so on. Um, and this is now looking really good. The final thing I'm going to add on to this page is um, a quick links web part. Um, which is then going to be used to navigate to other pages that I create for meeting other members of the team. Um, so I can add a link in here. Now this is where I would select, once I created those other pages, I would come back and link them all together. But for now, let's just link them to the home page, like so. Obviously, as I say, these would be linked to the actual other team pages once I've created those particular teams. This is just to put the links onto the page just to show you what it looks like. Um, then I would change the settings of this because I, I want to make it look like a button. I think that I would probably have um, maybe a fill color so it's much brighter. Um, icon on the left is fine, two lines is fine. Um, and then I would change the actual buttons themselves um, to be say sales team, uh, operations, team, maybe say marketing, marketing team, um, finance team, HR team, and then I would also change the icons of these to match. It's actually really easy to change icon. Um, you can either upload your own or you can choose from the Microsoft library. So if I click on here, and then I can just type in, for example, money, the sales team, and then change the icon. Again, I'm just going to pause this as I update all these other icons. And there we go. So now we've got some nice icons against each of these. And again, just a reminder, I would go off and build each of these different pages very similar to these and then come back and link all of these together afterwards.
I just want to ask a quick favor. If you're enjoying this video so far, please do subscribe to my channel. It's a free way that you can say thank you to me and I really do appreciate it. If you need any professional services and help setting up your SharePoint intranet, then you can contact me via the link in the bio area of my YouTube channel page. So getting back to this page now, I've got all the content on my page and it's ready to go. The only final things I might need to do is turn off the ability to comment at the bottom. We probably don't want comments on our kind of bio leadership team page. Um, and then I'm happy with that. I'm going to click on republish. And the final thing I want to do is I want to add this now as a link onto the top section of my page. So I'm happy with the look of this page now. Um, so I'm going to select this link, click on copy, and then I'm going to go to edit and add under who we are, link, paste that link. And I'm just going to put leadership team. And again, I would do that once uh, I've created all these other pages. I would add these as sublinks as well. Click on OK. Make sure you click the three dots again and click on Make Sublink. Click Save. And there we go. We've now got a leadership team page. So if I go back to the home page of my intranet, now anyone can click on under who we are, click on leadership team, and that's going to take us to the Meet the Leadership Team bio page.